Good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma and don't forget to make sure you subscribe for lots of hauls and vlogs. So it's Monday. Ethan was poorly when I left you last. He's fine. He's gone back to school today. We thought he might have been hand foot mouth. I have no idea what it was but he's much better now. So good news all round. So today I'm having kind of a relaxed day. I'm going to upload a video and upload last week's vlog but this evening i am speaking on a panel at the cheltenham literature Fest lit literature festival i mean i can't even say it this is not very well so at five o'clock a car is picking me mom and dad and claire up like pr agencies and brands have said cars pick you up it's a taxi i don't know why we've replaced the word taxi with car but i think it sounds fancy i feel like big in sex and city is going to pick me up so um that's exciting it's going to be like a relaxing day today i might do a bit of a come and get ready with me because i've got to make this look vaguely presentable because i'm looking all shades of um pale and weak so i'm going to have a drink Crack on with some work and then I will come back to you. I'm also going to pull up on my telly a good YouTuber that I've been watching that I think you lot will watch. As in like something that is so far removed from my life but I've just re like you know when you just consume all the videos. So I will do that now. They are called Norp and South. I'm presuming Norp must be their last name. And they've got some videos where they're living in like a camper van with nine children four of their own and five they've adopted and now they seem to have moved to this big massive house this is going to be so zoomed in i knew that was going to happen i knew i was thinking it's going to be so zoomed in right oh I'm doing that. and now they're living in a big massive house in salt lake city they're mormons so they're super religious they're homeschooled they've got no children they relate i did relate to them on no level because i'm not a millionaire i'm not any of those things but you know when you watch some videos and they're so wholesome that you feel really like inspired. So I'll link them below. Definitely go and look at their tour of, I'll link to video, their tour of their um, RV and then their tour of their new house. I was going to see, he was like, bloody hell. So I Googled them, they're like multi-millionaires. How has this happened? So I need to get me some of that. So I'm going to have this on in the background. Just like relaxing, pootling along kind of videos that just make you feel like happy inside that's my morning how pleasant right i'm going to get ready oh i said that really right i'm going to get ready now i've got this thing in here we keep all our woolly jumpers and once i've opened it i can never close it so i have to leave it open for steven what a wimp um i changed into leisure wear so i've got tracksuit bottoms and um a t-shirt on right i'm gonna start putting my makeup on now i'm not due to go for another two and a quarter hours <laughs> But you know, you're like, <sighs> so I'm going to put my makeup on and then that'll give me loads of time to do my hair. I'm really hot and bothered. I feel a little bit stressed. So here is the before. And I will show you the after and hopefully it'll look a, look a little bit better. Um, I will leave makeup tutorials below um, from ones I've done before. So it's, it's always the same sort of makeup. So appreciate the spots, which is, which is really great. So I'm going to go and get ready. I'm halfway done. I've done my makeup and I've done my hair. Obviously not dressed it. I'm gonna go and have something to eat and have a sandwich. Because I think there's a bit of booze tonight and we need to layer, layer the stomach. So I'm gonna go and have a sandwich and then I will get dressed and put my lippy and stuff on. I haven't put my lipstick on yet because I do that like the last second, but I will show you what I am wearing. We have got the bloody towels and the radiator again. We've got like a long MS frock. We've got these M&S shoes. I have to be really careful because of my bad leg. I can't really walk in here. So these are about as good as you get. Little shoe boots. Um, some hair all curly. I'm also, I put it away for a bit, but I've got her out again. That sounds more, I sound like I'm gonna show you something really exciting. Come on, little bugger. I'm also gonna have my red little Gucci bag tonight. I'll try and get Claire to do a proper one when I get here. The trouble is, I love you Claire if you watch this, but we all know you're terrible at camera work. So, <laughs> I'll try and get somebody at some point to do a little OOTD. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, you will notice that I kept saying, 
O-T-T-D for like ages and then someone was like, what does that mean? I was like, oh no, I'm so uncool. So I'll try and catch it with you at the festival. What about your, uh, your immense career? Well, I finally ended up starting a vlog because I found being a mum a bit boring. <laughs> so I started a vlog and then I started a YouTube channel and then weirdly people started to read stuff and then I got lots of trolls and then I just was like, Fuck <laughs> <laughs> and now it's my job and I make money and it's I am like the luckiest person. Like a brummy. 40 year old slight fat brummy. Make money, <laughs> take photos of herself. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have a round of applause for that. Hello, it's Tuesday. I'm with this one. I don't know if you can hear, it's very loud. They've been playing some good tunes in here today. <laughs> oh, it's been it's been interesting, hasn't it? Oh, it's, um, it's an interesting soundtrack to a Tuesday, isn't it? I'm not sure it's making me work any better. No. We keep just dancing. Do you think they want us to not work in here anymore? I think they're trying to get rid of us. I put in the most bizarre music on. It's giving me a bit of a headache. To be honest, you can see I didn't wash my hair from last night. I've got a bit of a headache anyway from last night. I had a bit too much champagne. Mm. Sorry, why have you put us on? But not quite as much champagne as my sister and my mum and dad had. They got free cake. They were so excited. To be honest. But yeah, we're just working here. I'll see you when I get home. I'm just going to be trying to concentrate whilst... I, I, I can't understand why more men don't find us attractive. I don't understand why people aren't just queuing up. <laughs> Back home. I should, the dog barking is not, it's next door's dog. I have to like do a disclaimer. It's next door's dog. Of course our dog is making no noise whatsoever. But I wanted to show you, Sarah made us some cakes. Salty caramel. She's such a good egg. I'm so dreadful at baking yeah. sometimes she keeps wanting what did you say erin well you like to agree with me with oh, dun, dun, dun. i don't yeah that's one of the things i regret most about how, my personality is that i am absolutely terrible she's always trying to get me to bake she's moving to um she's moving to a nice hat and a new house so i think people know that yeah she's moving to a new house so it's gonna have a big nice kitchen so maybe she can do some videos with me but I'm gonna have this with a nice cup of tea in my little Target Mickey mug. Woo! Good morning, good morning. You slept the whole night through. Oh my god, I was so knack could yesterday. I went to bed at, I went up to my bed at like half six. And then I finally, uh, we went to sleep about nine. Oh. So tired. Me and Stephen watched last night um, Killing Eve. Of any oh. Check out that sun flare. Oh God, I wish I didn't look such a hot mess. Oh. Wow. Should I just stand here? I need to go and pull a, put a full face of makeup on and right, I'm going to carry on. Carry on with my day. Um, Killing Eve on, on the BBC iPlayer. I think it's only four episodes. We're halfway through episode two. It's really good. It's got Sandra Owen from Grey's Anatomy. What was she called in Grey's Anatomy? Why can't I remember? I've watched like 60 seasons of Grey's Anatomy. There was great, what was her, what was she called? Let me know in the comments. Meredith's best friend. Coming into the office because I'm expecting parcels to come today and I can't leave the bloody house. But then half the stuff I need to work with is in my freezing cold office. I need that. I need my to-do list. I need you to just see that Barlow is now. <laughs> I still can't believe how happy I look. And also, uh, if you check out my Home Bargains video, you will see that I bought some boxes so we've got stuff that I'm working on for blog posts and also my next meetup there's some like products and stuff that has to go in goodie bags uh 
stuff that's for like family and friends and then stuff for charity so we've got a dress that's a bit too big and some books so these my new system because i was getting so stressed with the piles of boxes so hopefully that will work that will work i'm a lady who loves a system i'm a lady who loves organizing and planning um because then i feel my brain is working look at these i have showed you this before but these are always make me laugh do you wish that your other half was as sexy as me one day i might do the score one in these and just mortify the kids right i'm going back in the house oh my gosh i've just had a small exciting moment which i'm going to share with you because she doesn't care my mugs have arrived i can't remember how i've told you like, i've mentioned it loads on instagram i am doing like a really small run of three different mugs and there's going to just be a hundred of each um and i can see them now and they're not small mugs they're going to be big mugs because uh, you know i like big mugs and i cannot lie so they will be because so keep your eyes peeled um it might come up on instagram perhaps before it comes on comes on here because obviously there's a bit of a delay reaction but there's just going to be 100 mugs um of each there's three <laughs> i'm terrified but i'm looking at them now it's weird because you like you work with someone and you make something and you're like oh you know this is is this good? I don't know if it's good or not, but I like them. I would buy them. There's one that if I walked to a shop, I'd be like, yes! The second I saw it, I'd be like, oh my God, I need that in my hands immediately. So, um, keep your eyes peeled. Also, I need to do my root. What? I need to do my roots. We've got like, don't, can you see like two sections of roots? So I'm gonna go and, um, I'm not gonna do it now, but I'm gonna do, that's gonna be a plan tonight. And you know you'll see me tomorrow and I won't have done my roots, but no gonna do my roots tonight i'm gonna do a bit more work now and then tidy up and go and get the kids and then when stephen is back from the kids i think i'll i'll try and sort my hair out it's got out of hand guys it's got out of hand it always happens but this time is particularly bad so i shall i should do that later i have to i get a lot of questions about dye my hair because i do dye my hair at home and there is a video if you look at something like about having me time somewhere it, it talks about me dyeing my hair at home Right, I'm off. Morning, love. It's mayhem. It's mayhem. It's Thursday. Yes. Yes. We have got confirmation from the small girl human that lives. I'm in focus. I'm in focus. Small girl human that lives with me. It's Thursday. She's trying to get ready for the school run. And then I've got the day off. I've got the day off. I'm going to see my friend Justin. I'm also, I also dyed my hair. Yes, I was sending to dye my hair and I dyed it. It's very blonde. I don't mean to show you school time and she says it's the top of her head. Go and feed the guinea pig. Uh, it's very blonde. Uh, Louise phoned me up in the midst of dyeing it and it just left it on a bit long. <laughs> We're having discussions about Disney. Um, so, I will see you. I might even see you in Primark. I might try and have a little sneaky, sneaky film in Primark. So, see you in a bit. I'm at Jocelyn's house. I forgot. I've really hurt my knee. I was, we just, we just got her to 10,000 followers on Instagram and I was so excited I screamed dropped to my knees I really damaged my knee so you've got 10,000 followers and I'm gonna have to have some sort of knee surgery the and then I forgot I hadn't vlogged and then I panicked um I was just telling Jocelyn I don't think I've told you a lot last night in my car Erin said to Ethan don't worry if you wind down the window I'll wind it up because he can't wind it back up came to the car this morning it had not, the, the window was wound down. It wasn't like a little, little tiny bit. It was the whole way down. What if like a creature had got in the car? You're lucky a creature didn't. What if, or like a, a baddie? Fox. A fox. Got in. I mean a fox and getting. Driven the I was car so, I was gonna say, I don't know how a fox <laughs> would get through a window. Get easy, get I can understand a bird. Get like, it for chickens, I can get it easy. Get it for chickens. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I, and I did that thing where I really wanted to scream at them, but I was late for school, so I couldn't. I just had to go. Don't worry about it. Don't let it happen again. No, because we've got swimming. I hate swimming. I think I've already told you I hate. I've told her I hate I hate swimming lessons. It's so hot and sweaty. Any mums out there, leave in the comments if you hate swimming lessons. It just it, what? It's just hot and grim. Every single parent hates swimming lessons. It's just hot and grim, so that, that'll be me tonight. But I did pop to Primark and buy a couple of things for my Disneyland 
trip. Um, I don't know why I'm whispering because the children aren't here, but I'm, I'm worried in case they ever watch this, but I don't think they will watch it. No, they, they won't. Oh, it'll just be me like trying to rugby tackle them to the ground if I hear it. So I will show you those later. Right, we're going to carry on celebrating Jocelyn's 10,000 followers on Instagram and my actual broken knee. Hey! Oh. And with this little <laughs> one snuggling in bed because um, Daddy's putting Ethan to bed, isn't he? Um, I think so, yeah. I've got makeup smeared all over my face. Do you think when you're older, you hope you're as pretty as me? Um, am I pretty as you now? <coughs> no. Yeah, I mean, look yeah. at you. Do, do, do your nicest smile, and then look at me. <laughs> who do you think? Who do you think wins? Me. My hair looks so yellow in this light. My hair is black <laughs> because I just came. Look, look at it. it. Looks like. Yellowy green. Let's ignore it. Let's ignore it. Right, you have a question you want to say to the people. Okay. okay What's your ti favourite time of the day? What's your favourite time of the day? I'm just to say the options. Morning. Oh, okay. Morning. Yeah. Middle. Mid. Mid time. Afternoon. Me. Yeah. Afternoon or night. Morning. Midday. Afternoon. No. Oh, no. My hair looks horrible colour. I'm going to have to put them on my head. Uh, yeah, I gave Nobody it to sees it. I gave her to that. I gave her Erin gave me this little Because toy. I had to stitch one of those. That's really because she was like, I wish I had that one. So I gave her one. She gave it so I can, I can, because I like to like snuggle on it. Yeah, you like, Ethan has short. Ethan has e short. Right, short, long story short. When we went to Haven, yeah. we accidentally left Ethan's toys. <laughs> yeah, he knew how to there. We're waiting for them to come back. Um, and I have got a cleavage in my neck, which is never a good look. <laughs> so, we're waiting for his toys to come back. And while we're waiting for, and they are on the way back, Ethan's got my toy. Got my teddy bear. So I've got Erin's toy, so we're all. And there's Daddy Pajamas. Leave in the comments who has a moustache, if you have a moustache. Leave in the comments if you have a moustache. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a bit I niche, because she does. <laughs> right, Ooh. we are off. Ma. We shall see you tomorrow. Oh, I'm getting my nails in tomorrow. That's my fancy load. Because this one's all chipped as well, which is annoying. Let me see. There, it's annoying. Yeah. So I could cut your nails off. Yeah, I don't really want you to do that. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. Happy Friday. Oh, weather check with Emma. It's really, really windy windy mcwind face today um i've got a mickey jump on because i'm going to be filming a disney mug video that loads of you wanted me to do i mean it's very niche so if you've not seen it please go and give it a watch because it's not going to be watched by millions of people on youtube is it but it's especially for you lot so i'm getting all the mugs ready down here um i'm going to go and get my nails redone probably like dark red that's the thing i'm treating myself to every fortnight now i'm getting my nails done so i'm going to do dark red this time and then the time after the halloween i think i'm going to get black sparkles oh but this one's all chipped which annoyed me a little bit um so i don't know why i did that licky face i do apologize so i'm going to put this on charge so i can come back and film this and then i need to go to the office at some point and get some of my other faves so that's the plan today and then it's just Friday, and I love Friday. Friday's my favourite day of the week because it's just the, the anticipation of Saturday. Let me know your favourite day of the week. Was that Erin's question? What was Erin's question? No, it was her, hers was like the favourite time of day. So um, I will see you in a bit. Oh! Oh, God! What a terrible angle! Terrible angle! Just filmed my... Um, I got my nails done. I always want to do that when I get my nails done, but um, I'm going for dark red, and next week I'm going to go for... Next, not next week in two weeks, I'm gonna go for black circles. <laughs> That's supposed to be being a witch. I've just filmed my call. I mean, it's a niche video, um, but people wanted to see it. This angle's never getting better. That's a bit better, isn't it? So, also, I thought I'd show you a couple of Primark finds before I log off because I want to edit this. Because next week, hang on two seconds. I'm coming back, I'm coming back, guys. I'm coming back. Next week is really busy, so I need to make sure I've got this edited. Because usually I edit this on a Monday morning, but next week I've got loads of stuff to do. 
um, I've got a couple of events next week actually. I think I have mentioned, sorry, I've got a meet up with some, uh, some of the mums, my mum and my meet up and we are looking at doing uh, like non-parent meet ups in the new year. So that's really exciting so to look forward to. And I'm doing one with Hannah Whitten as well and Alice Living. I think I hope I've pronounced that right on Friday, so it's very busy. Right, I went to Primark. I'm not going to show you all the Disney finds because I am going to do a what I'm taking to Disney Hall slash like Halloween clothes haul in a couple of weeks, which is really fun because I've got lots of matching clothes with the kids, which I mean, more fun for me than for them. But what I did pick up was um, you lot might be able to help me. Erin, this is not comfortable. Let's just embrace I've got a double chin. Erin needed like a plain sweatshirt for PE because it's cold. Yes, I'm adjusting my bra strap because it's cold and they're not allowed hoodies. I reckon the kids are pulling actually these hoodies while they were doing PE and it's got all dangerous. Dangerous hoodie. So I just got this pink one and again, you know, I'm trying to petition against Primark by doing absolutely nothing about it because I'm sick of stupid phrases and tops. But she's got a pink one that said chill out. That was like the most reasonable it's always a plain sweatshirt and I just got Ethan this plain blue one because obviously boys are allowed plain stuff without stupid slogans on, yeah? Uh, it's Stephen's birthday soon and every birthday, every event, whatever it is, Valentine's, Easter, birthdays, Christmas, we buy him comedy socks because that's how we roll. Let me know what you buy your dad that's a bit comedy. I quite like these though. These are dinosaurs. These are the least comedy that he's had. He's had some corkers in the past. And then I just picked up the kit, the Kidly Winks, and all of us actually for Paris, um, some thermals. And so I've just got me a tank top. I've got Erin just some long sleeve ones. I've got Ethan some long sleeve ones. And I've got, or even got, I've got the Stephen one as well. Because sometimes in Paris, I get this question quite a lot. It can be a bit, it can be a bit bloody cold. If you're thinking of going at Christmas, it's Christmas, it's really cold. So I'm taking those. I'll give you one sneak peek. Look at these beauties. These were, how much are these? Three pound. So I've got Erin and um, me and Erin those. Aren't they gorgeous though? Gorgeous though. So guys, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a bit of a like a homey one not much happened i mean the Cheltenham festival that was good um i will see you next week for another upload which i'll try and catch some of the the events i'm doing if you're interested or you prefer the homey stuff i don't know but i love you lots make sure <laughs> i'm trying to hold the big massive tripod make sure you subscribe and i will see you very soon and go and check out the mug haul because i'm concerned that nobody will have watched it because it was a bit strange, but love you lots guys, night.